So you can't tell a story of England in the 21st century that is exclusively a, a, a white-dominated story. It cannot be. That is not the future of where our bit of the United Kingdom is going. And there's a huge strength in that uh, because it is a, uh, a developing identity. So it can be shaped. That's why I made the point about things not being necessarily just innate. Now, I consider my religious identity to be innate to me. Uh, but actually, most of the other things are um, a factor of where I happen to be at a point in my life. They connect to the story of my family, you know, the land that we came to where we've had so much, um, you know, uh, opportunity given to us. That's part of the story we tell each, uh, each of us about our own lives. And finding a way to do that around us as a nation, I think, is something that... Um, you know, it's almost like I feel I can personally almost see the words, but I can't quite say them yet. Um, it is a story to tell, and the story is there, and it can be a really positive, brilliant thing. And we haven't quite got there yet, but that's because we've never had something like a network of us coming together to work on this area together. And I am sure that if we can find a way of telling that story, this will not just be a white and male crowd. You know, the people that you see um, holding the English flag most of the time, yeah. down my neck of the woods, will be the EDL, and they are white and they are male and they're bad people. And want to divide our, um, our uh, communities from one another. But there is no reason for them to have claimed that flag. I would like us to claim our flag back from the bad guys and make it a sign of positivity. <laughs> it's very hard um, to simply talk about England and a constitutional framework that recognises cities and regions without maybe considering some sort of assembly type structure for England within the UK structure overall. Myself, that's a personal uh, opinion. And the reason I feel that way is um, if you look at the way that devolution to our cities and regions is taking place, and you know, I'm pro devolution, uh, but it's happening in a very piecemeal way. You've got the Northern Powerhouse, which is powering ahead because it's been going for longer, and Greater Manchester has more powers than other combined authority areas. And then you've got other places that are just starting up and have only recently elected mayors. And because we're all in different places doing slightly different things, um, it's not enough, I think, to build a collective sense of who we are um, when actually the deal you get in different parts of England is completely different according to who's in charge and when they got going. So I think we will need something that sort of almost presses a reset button and brings everybody together um, because you can't really build a sense of collective and shared identity when everything about your lives, your living standards, the services you access is different depending on where you are. Um, I worry about the way we're doing devolution in this country is we're a very centralised country and we've had massive postcode lotteries, but the way we're doing devolution doesn't convince me that we're going to get rid of those postcode lotteries. So building something that is more about the same deal that you get in this part of the world, um, I, I think is going to be quite, quite important because I'm convinced that um, stuff that you share and have in common is the ties that bind. So if you want to build national identity, there has to be something that is the same regardless of where you are. And those, those ties that will bind us together will be stronger because of it.